Hello everyone, this is Daniel and the TPS Solutions Architect at A10 and in this session we're going to talk about SynCookie. SynCookie is actually one of the means of providing TCP authentication. So this is a special technique or a mechanism used by many TCP softwares uh, to generate the initial sequence number. And this technique is actually used by many DDoS defense engines and load balancers to provide protection against the SYN flood attacks. Let's take a look at it. How does it actually work? Well, in a normal operation, what I would say, let's say we have a client here, we have a server here, the SYN comes in, the server responds with a SYN ACK. Now at this point of time, the server actually needs to maintain the state information in the TCP stack. Or you can call it a TCP buffer. I'll just write it down until it receives an acknowledgement, right? And this is a normal process. Now imagine when you're under attack, right? A simple, what I would say, a simple SYN flood attack coming in from various spoofed sources can actually end up consuming all the TCP memory available on the server. And because the server needs to maintain uh, the state information for all the half open connections, which are there actually, right? And since this uh, state table is finite, the server will eventually uh, stop accepting new connections and will start denying service uh, for the legitimate users. And this is where actually, you know, the SYN cookie actually comes into the picture. Now, I'm just going to draw the client and server one more time, right, with the SYN cookie in place. What will happen is, upon receiving a SYN, the server is going to respond again with the SYNAC, but now at this point of time, the sequence number that has been used in the SYNAC response by the server is going to be generated using a secret mathematical function. And at that point of time, it doesn't need to maintain the state information in the TCP stack. The moment it's going to receive an acknowledgement from the client, at this point of time, it's going to go ahead and check the sequence number against the mathematical function that it actually used. And if the reply is legit, the session information will be reconstructed and the connection will proceed as normal. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight here is that how uh, the SYN cookie computation actually works, right? Um, as we all know, the sequence number is a 32-bit value. So the way it works is the first five bits are used for actually timestamp. Now maybe I can write it down. It's a slowly incrementing timestamp. The next three bits are actually used for MSS value that server may have used in the SYN ACK and perhaps stored in the TCP SYN queue entry. And finally, the 24-bit value for the cryptographic hash function. And this cryptographic hash function is actually computed on source IP, desk IP, source port, desk port, and the value of T. So now, same scenario, when the server ends up receiving an ACK, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, you know, recompute the value of T. It's gonna check it against the current time, and just to see if the session information is valid or has it expired. It's gonna decode the value of uh, the MSS, you know, and finally, it's gonna take a look at the value of S. It's gonna recompute this value, which is actually corresponds to the SYN cookie, and if this value turns out to be legit, the session information again will be reconstructed, and you know connection will proceed as normal as I said. Now, 
one thing I would like to highlight here is that whenever any device, whether it's a DDoS mitigator or a load balancer, and it is performing a uh, SYN cookie, then the device needs to be in line because it's acting as a proxy and it needs to stitch both client and server side sessions. And this is where ATAN, I would say, add, adds its value. So irrespective of whether you have asymmetric reactive or asymmetric proactive kind of a deployment, we do have other means of doing TCP authentication. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next session.